Hello, uh, this video is for 49er on the TEEP forum. That's www.teep.forumco.com. And what this is is a motor so that he can charge up a battery array that he has. Okay, so there's going to be 13 coils around the outside of the rotor. The rotor is an inch thick, and each one of his magnets that you can see here is 3 eighths of an inch by 3 eighths of an inch, and they're a quarter of an inch thick. Again, there are 13 magnets to match up with the 13 coils. Now, two ways that you can do this is to actually operate one coil, two coils, and three coils as drive coils, and the rest as charging coils. Or you can operate one coil here and one coil here, and that'll be drive coils. Or you can just operate it off of one coil, and the rest will be charging coils. And that's what I would recommend that you do, because you don't need to have a fast RPM, because you are just charging your batteries. The uh, hole here in the center, that's just your alignment hole so that you can bolt it down and then you would affix the rest of your coils down in various uh, uh, arrays. What I would do is I would set their size so that I can fit inside of a PVC pipe, put a set screw on top of it with a little bushing, tighten down your coil and you're all set and just screw the PVC pipe down or, or attach it through a, a piece of wood. Either way, it'll be a very quick and easy setup for you. And uh, I'm going to go through the calculator part of it so that you can see that as well. Okay, so our core diameter is going to be 5 eighths, and to figure out our fraction, then we're going to do this as 5, and our bottom number is 8, and that's going to give us our decimal, which is 0.625. So we're going to change this to 0.625, and our outer, outer diameter, we're going to set, um, let's say, 2.13. Let's just set that at 2.5, so 2.5 by 2.5, so almost a square coil, um, and we'll, we'll check that out from there. Okay, um, your AWG on your wire that he is using, we've got a 26, a 24, a 22, or a 20, and that's what he has to work with. So as far as our wire gauges go, what we're going to probably have to do is set this at a 22, and that will get us to a 26. So he can use the 22 as his run wire and the 26 as his trigger wire. Now, as far as our power output, the max turns on that size spool is going to be 3,312. So we need to change this here to our 3,312. Okay. And that gets us there so that we have now optimized our coil. So it's two and a half inches across and two and a half inches long. Okay. Um, now we've got our length of uh, footage of our wires, 1,346 for the uh, drive wire, and our trigger wire is 1,347. Uh, that gives us pounds of wire as well. That also gives us the resistance value of what it should ohm out to be once you get it done. Now, he is actually using a square magnet, so we're going to change this to 3 eighths. And so let's make sure that we get our right decimal point for our 3 eighths. So we're going to go 3 and eighths, and that's going to be 0.375. So we know to come back down here and change that to 0.375. And then our length is going to be 0.375. And I was using a 1 inch magnet, but we're going to change that just so it's a square magnet. We're going to be about an eighth of an inch away from our rotor. And he's using a Gauss rating of 5,000 at that distance. Now, we're going to be using a total of 12 coils. And his RPMs is going to be around 1,000 for that, for that model. And the number of magnets is 13, because there are 13 magnets on the rotor. And the reason why we're setting this for 12 is because one of the coils is going to be his drive coil. So that's why this is set for 12. Now the number of magnets is 13, because there are 13 magnets on there. So as we can see with where we're at with our Gauss ratings and our speed, that he's going to get about 700 milliamps out of that and about 18 volts which will be really good for charging up uh, his batteries and he's going to get about 0 0.018 kilowatts an hour 
So that's going to be basically what he has um, for his drive side. Now his trigger side is going to be 18.24 volts at 0.282 on his amp output. So the combined total is 36 volts at almost 1 amp. Now if he changes that and we change that to three drive coils that would put us at 11 coils driving but that's going to increase our speed to about 2200 RPMs because of the power in that and that's going to change our amp output just a little bit so that we're going to get a little bit more amps out of it and that'll be really good now on the power going into the coil um, his rotor size here is an 8 inch rotor um, instead of a 12 inch because of the size ratio of his magnets to his coils. We don't want to exceed more than about an inch and a half to two inches in between each magnet on there. So that's why this is set the way it is. So this is going to be his uh, maximum output. Um, it's about 2200 RPMs and 11 coils. If we change that back to the 12 coils, which he should get pretty close to that out of, uh, out of one drive coil, as soon as he gets that uh, rotor spinning it's going to support quite a bit so he's going to get almost one kill he's going to get about 0.88 kilowatts out of uh, out of that uh, unit and that'll more than charge up his battery bank uh, in a day so that should help out and I hope that that uh, has shed some light on there and if you have any other questions please let me know you can reach me at vesperhbt at yahoo.com thank you